Hello everyone and welcome to Games, Comics and Crafts. In this video I'll be looking at Isagi Jimbo The Crow Issue 5. Okay, so we've finally got around to looking at the last issue of The Crow, 5 of 5. Um, this rounds up the uh, storyline quite nicely. Okay, so all of our adventurers, Isagi and um, the other guys, are basically going to attack the bandits that they've been looking for for the last four issues, although they haven't really. Um, they spent the majority of the time in the inn. Um, they basically ambush all the guys that are on the watch. They come to the uh, kind of the, the house they're kind of watched into. The um, stray dog and and the you know, the other bandits and stuff are kind of taking kind of taking these guys out. Then we get the raven. The raven is there, and it, the raven actually seems to recognise them and can actually um, alert. They were trying to burn them out, smoke them out, but they don't get a chance to do so because the raven alerts them. So off they go, run outside. And they start having a bit of a bit of a combat. Um, everyone else gets a bit of shot. The little kid from previous the, from the village previously is kind of overwatching and seeing what's going on. The raven uh, or crow, whatever, sorry, is um, of course it's called the crow. Why would it be with a raven? That's stupid. Anyway, the crow comes down and, and starts you know pecking at people and doing various nasty stuff. Um, and eventually, they go off after the main guy, um, the bloke that captured. Um, it's like his cousin and the guy they're actually after have a bit of a sword fight and it doesn't go well uh for our um uh, the quarry although he's uh killed by um killed by Sega's cousin although what the bounty hunter is mortally wounded as well and the bounty hunter basically promises like okay yeah here's a sword this is the sword of um no uh narukami um and because he broke his sword he basically hands over to him um in promise and then promptly dies and uh this is the best the best bit in this issue is this bit so stray dog basically goes okay that's great everyone else is dead this guy's dead as well more money for us fantastic and um Sega's cousin is like okay yeah i don't want the money either because i'm i'm a, a samurai not a bounty hunter and then Sega gets all up and basically says oh you're terrible there's too many people have died denied you know been died today and stray dog kind of goes yeah, we've got to look after ourselves, you know, we, no one else is going to look after us, we have to look after ourselves, and he kind of goes, oh, you're just, you know, you've got no one to care for you, you, you know, you don't care about anybody else but yourself, terrible, you know, basically, Drow draws him as kind of this totally mercenary guy, and then storms off, um, and then we cut back to months later, and months later, Stray Dog turns up at this uh, little orphanage, and basically brings in the kid from the village, and also gives him a fat bag of coins, so it turns out Stray Dog is actually, is doing it for a reason, um, there is a point to his kind of, you know, his quests and maybe the idea that he sees, uh, the orphanage as the greater good, um, is willing to, you know, sacrifice other people and all this kind of stuff. Um, I think that's really cool. Um, again, role-playing game kind of mentality in my head, you know, that's kind of like, you know, chaotic, neutral, maybe, you know, where he's kind of like doing bad things, but for a good cause. Um, yeah, good stuff. Like it, like it a lot. Um, so, Space Saggy's next. Now, I'm not too sure if I'm getting this or not. I, I think I am, because apparently it's got a short story in it of um, uh, Akemi, the uh, the princess. Um, and it's the first time it's presented in colour. This is obviously what was just recently collected in the um, Legends or Legacy, whatever, the the pack, which had all of the Space Saggy stuff in it and, and some other odds and sods. So I have actually recently purchased this, and it seems strange to go back and get it. But, I mean, it is a colour version, so that's okay. Um, the one thing I didn't get was um, Isekia Jimbo and Power Rangers because for some bizarre reason they need eight quid per issue or issue one's eight quid and like the cheapest issue was like seven ninety I think or seven eighty and then every other issue was like nine quid or twelve quid so I was like no 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 I'm not paying eight pound for a bloody issue of of, of this because I'm you know again not massive Power Rangers fans the idea is it's going to be in continuity number one is crazy. Number two, the idea it's going to be, you know, something I'm massively interested in. So unless it comes through, you know, down cheaper or there's another one out there. Or again, we get this bonus money off for buying more books. So I might pick it up then. But at the minute, no, seven ninety for one issue. No, 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 no chance. So there you go. Anyway, that's pretty much all I can say about the saga at the moment. I think we've got a couple of months yet before the Space Saga stuff. But he will be back soon. And I'll be back soon. Hopefully with another video very soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.